Welcome to the Practicum Designer Tutorial Series, where we talk about the written stage briefing. If you have not seen the first video, I urge you to take a look at the first tutorial video that talks about the tool, introduce the user interface, and the editing capabilities. I think the most powerful tool, apart from the editor within Practicum Designer, is the ability for you to create, define, and print out your written stage briefing based on your stage designs, all from within the tool. You don't need to use Microsoft Word, you don't need to use PDF, Adobe Acrobat, you don't need to use PowerPoint, you can just use Practicum Designer to generate your written stage briefings. So how do you do that? So I have a stage here that we've created in the previous chapters. So if you hit escape and go over to stage briefing, you see that you have this layout that allows you to name your stage, set who your designers are. So let's say if I go over here and set the stage name to example stage, right? And then let's say I designed this, however crappy that looks like. And here you see we have a bunch of boxes. So one box is the stage statistics. Uh, you can specify how many paper, what type of paper, they're using how many shots per paper, what kind of scoring, what kind of course type, uh, and it supports USPSA, IPSC, IDPA, ISMOC, and so forth. Even the scoring types are um, based on the different types of uh, disciplines that you have and that the tool supports. You can easily, you can either manually fill this in or you can click on this button to auto automatically determine the count. So as you can see from my stage designs, I have a bunch of targets. If I click on auto determine, it shows you that I have 11 paper, I have three no shoots. It is uh, because I'm choosing USPSA and it's because it's Comstock. Uh, this is a long course, 110 points with 22 round count. This is pretty cool, right? If I switch this to maybe three per and I hit auto determine, now your points will change uh, accordingly. If I had less than 11 targets and maybe just three targets on the stage, if I hit auto determine, the course type will switch to short, medium, or long based on uh, USPSA rules. So for most stages, the section on the left will be fine. But in USPSA, there's also a more elaborate stage briefing. Uh, typical stage designs will come with two parts. One is the front that shows you the stats, start position, procedures, and so forth. The back is a more long form paragraph written story that the CROs or the ROs who are manning a major match, for instance, will typically have to read out to um, the squad that, uh, that comes in to shoot that pay. And I've provided that ability for you to very quickly generate your brief here automatically. So if you click on the generate brief button, it will automatically generate uh, based on your stats and whatever you put in your start position procedure, it will automatically generate this for you. So welcome to stage example. My name is Blah and I'm the CRO. Example is a 22 round, 110 point Comstock long cost, the 11 US space. So as you can see, uh, this tool helps you build the stage briefings. If you are an IDPA stage designer, things are a little bit different. If I switch to IDPA, now you see an optional IDPA section will appear down here where you can specify your start stop, your concealment, whether it's required, not required, muzzle safe, distances, and so forth. And so, uh, as you can see, most of these are all changed based on what you select. Uh, you can also very quickly click on the spell check button. It's a more convenient capability to help you make, uh, do spell checks. Maybe you've typed in something wrong and it will tell you what's wrong with it. Right, so here's where you specify what your stage briefing is going to be. You can save to go back out or you can come back to your stage briefing to see that it's still there and make changes. And how do you print this? So if you click on view and print button, you see that now a new, a new window will open up to show you the templates. Practicing Designer comes with six different presets, USPSA, IPSC, generic, which you can use for anything, IDPA, uh, ISMOC or International uh, Shooters. Uh, this is for the ASOF community and maybe for iCore as well. Uh, so you can see here, there are a few things that you can customize here. So you can see that the layout, is the name is here, the scoring types, the start position procedures, it automatically includes the camera that you've selected here. Here, if I select uh, right close, you will change this picture to the right close camera. If I prefer the top middle camera, then this will show up here as well. So many things you can do, I can change the logo. 
so I can click on it on this let's say if I don't like the this logo I don't like this logo or maybe I want to include my own match logo or maybe my sponsors logo so let's say if I want to load an ad maybe a sponsor logo for instance I can click on this I go over to uh, wherever you want or wherever you save your images and just load one so let's say I will load this one here it appears as a logo or ad or whatever it is in this case I'm loading up my sponsor which is practicing VR which is a game that I've written uh, that, but that's beside the point. You can customize the template to a certain extent. Uh, if you don't like this and if you want to do it again, you can click on it to load another one or you can right click to reset to the default uh, logo here. So let's say while you're editing this and I'm thinking maybe the right close camera here and I wanted to apply a cell shading effect here. I can very quickly go and open the camera controls here, select the right close camera and say toggle cell shade and click OK. And when I come back, the cell shade will be applied and I can very quickly make changes from here. Uh, by default, the print build list will appear, which generates the uh, list of props that you've used in the stage. For some stage designers who need some help to identify what kind of props that needs to be used for a specific stage, the build list will show you all the different props that you need. So that somebody who's building the stage can very quickly gather all the resources on the, while they are building the stage for match day. The second option is print layout page. By enabling this, it allows you to print a top-down view of your stage automatically. So let's say I've turned on this too, and let's ex export this. When you export this, all you have to do is just specify where you want to save this PDF file. In this case, let me just save it in this directory in F drive called example log.pdf. And that's done. So now if I go out and I open the PDF, so now that I've located the PDF file, I've opened it um, and then you can see that it's printed. I printed a right close image as I specified. This is the long form written stage briefing that's printed on page two. And also a build list that shows you that I need a two metric walls. I need three no shoots on stand, so on and so forth. And then the layout page looks like that. So for those of you who are more interested in something like this, you can, you can print it out automatically. Otherwise, you can just, um, just have the default two pages. So if you go back over to stage briefing, and now uh, if I change this to maybe a different generic look and feel, it will print out the PDF to that. If you're IPSEC, you typically they only use one page. They don't have the second long form uh, page here. Uh, and also for iCore, you have a different layout. Uh, for ISMOC, you have a different layout. These are all collected from working th through the beta period and working with designers who have been using the tool early in the process and have provided feedback. If you have a feedback of additional templates of what you'd like to see, again, please join us on our Discord server. The link to the Discord server is in the YouTube description below. Join us there and then reach out to me and let me know and we can uh, coordinate and get things done. So that is the powerful written stage briefing feature. On to the next module.